Alright, Shalom. This is the brother of Taz Obama, GMS South Carolina camp. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Double honest to God's a great millstone talking this truth. Shalom to the Aki out there pushing the truth. Alright, this is um wrapping up the proverb or the parable of um the sower. Alright, we get into the part, alright, of the elect. Okay. And um we covered in the previous portions isolating each portion from the seed being cast upon the wayside, the seed cast upon the stony ground or the hard rock, the seed that was cast amongst the thorns, that represents the three uh three levels of the of the two thirds. Alright. One that was on the wayside, those the jakes that the Lord the Lord have he's gonna have more mercy on them. Alright, than the ones that got choked by the word and then the ones that, that was received the seed on the hard ground because the ones that uh they represent the seed on the wayside, the Lord gonna kill them, alright? But they gonna be killed or quote beaten with few stripes because they didn't know the Lord's will, okay? He didn't want them to get it, alright, so that they can be destroyed. Alright, that's the Lord having mercy on them. And that's the mass majority of the two thirds. They're gonna die like in the race wars and stuff, but you you and the famines and the pestilence. Alright, but you Jakes, that's of the second tier and third tier, y'all gonna take the chip, man. Alright? And you're gonna die by thermonuclear destruction, okay, because you will be appointed with the part with the unbelievers and the hypocrites, okay, because that's what you are. You're a bunch of fearful, unbelieving hypocrites. And that's the first two uh groups that's part of those that's going to be in the lake of, lake of fire, the fearful and the unbelieving. And that represents you niggas of, the, of the, the seed that was cast upon the stony ground and the seed that was choked by the uh, thorns. Okay, now we at the latter part, which is talking about the elect and the one-third. Okay, which received seed in, uh, in the ground and they grew and brought forth fruits. Okay. This is Mark 4 and 8. It says, And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprung up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, some sixty, and some a hundred. Okay? The good ground is taught, like I said before, the ground represents your mind or your heart. Okay? When the word comes into your heart. Alright? Meaning your mind. And you understand it. Okay? It said that it uh it yielded fruit, so they they start what rehearsing the righteous acts, all right. And it said and it increase. That's the key. When when we first come in, all right, you learn the basics and whatnot. But then it's a point where you go beyond the basics, and the spirit of Yahushua start working with you to allow you to uh, grow from a basic level where every so-called Israelite group for the most part be at but then you you go beyond that and that's where the elect gonna be they gonna they gonna ascend past the basics and start going into more uh, more deeper stuff than the basic milk stuff okay all right why because they start yielding fruit, meat for repentance. All right, me and they rehearsing the righteous acts, and they really believe in Yahweh Hashem Al So the Lord gonna allow them to be increased, okay? Because their their mind was uh prepared and ready, and then they gonna be on certain levels. All right, thirty, some sixty, some hundred. Because you gotta have uh set up set up on um it's 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 levels or ranks different levels in in amongst the elect okay all right you're gonna have them that's of a higher rank than the other brothers that's their lot okay according to the portion of the spirit that the lord gave them that doesn't mean that uh like like these guys that's what happened with a lot of these guys they try to excel to the level of the elders and not being content with the level or the portion that the Lord gave them and what happened to them. you see them they, they go too far and then they end up bugging out alright great example was uh, the guy that was two guys that was amongst us alright 
Ayashima and um, Amara. Okay, that was their problem. They try to exceed and get status, trying to be on level with the elders, and they wasn't. That's not their lot, so they fell off, man. Or they got kicked out. One got kicked out, and one just left. He couldn't do it no more. All right, because he was trying to go too too high, too fast, and he ended up bugging out, man. All right. All right, both of them bugged out, and the ones that followed them, all right, they all bugged out back in the world. They're gonna be destroyed. All right, but um, it's a, so you are gonna have some that's gonna be on this level, but they're part of the elect. You are gonna have some that's on this level. That's part of the elect. You gonna have some that's on this level. Oh, that's part of the elect, and that's why you have the elders. Like Elder Tahar, Elder Gabar, Elder Ramla, Elder Rakar, and then you have the elders under them: Elder Zakaran, Elder Manathaza, Elder Tazadakba, um, Elder Tazadakia. Uh, trying to think, Elder Aithun, I know. All right, Tazayawan, fun name to all them. I buy, and then under them. Okay, it's 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 levels to it. So you're going to have some that bring forth uh, fruits a hundredfold, all right, sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. But they're all part of the what? The 144,000, which is the elect, Lord willing. Okay? Because that's how the order's set up. All right? And that also goes into the, the parable of um, uh, the laborers in the, in the vineyard, which is... um. Uh, Matthew's 20 y'all could read that on your own okay proving that you had certain brothers came in and worked for the master all right at different times in the day so you go that's why them guys that was back there with the elders all right that thought that the Lord was gonna come back at a certain time or if we have this many people teaching then we gonna make it because they're trying to count stuff when certain things didn't come when they wanted, they fell off because they wasn't know that number. Okay? They weren't counting as the elect. Alright? And they didn't increase. It was all a fad to them. And all them old head niggas is going to die that fell off, man. Okay? Alright? So Mark 4 and 8, it says, And the other fell on good ground and did yield fruit. And that sprung up and increased. And that's the that's the key. We're increasing. All right, from the elders down, there's no stagnation amongst the brothers. We we are constantly increasing through the spirit, and the spirit is getting more heavier the, the closer we get to this time where Jacob's trouble come in and the famine of the word. The, the spirit is more intense in the lessons and in the topics what's being brought up because we're approaching a serious drastic time where it's going to get real and it ain't going to be no more fun and games it's just going to be serious and all these weak minded uh these weak minded niggas out here they going that's they going to grow tired of hearing that about death and destruction of uh, martial law the chip all this hell that's coming they don't want to hear that no more they want to hear uh, we are Israel this and that they going to fall off but that's part of the refinement, okay? So we, Lord well, willing, we be counted as that number, all right? That's going to endure to the end, all right? But the key part is you're increasing, meaning they're increasing in the knowledge, some thirtyfold, some sixtyfold, some a hundredfold, and brought forth fruit, some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred, all right? Luke eight. And 15 it says, but that on the good ground are they which in an, in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. That's right. We get this Luke 21 and uh, 19 it says, in your patience possess ye your souls. And the word patience means to suffer, man. Okay. Which that also... I believe it's the Greek word also goes into being given diligence and studying 
which all talks about patience or suffering. Okay, let me read that again. Luke 8, 15, but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart. You got to be honest, man. All right, to deal what we deal with, all right, Lord willing, and to endure in it, you have to be honest, man. All right, and a good heart. You got to have a good mind, man. Okay, a lot of these, a lot of these guys out here that's that's pretending, man, of the two thirds, their heart is not right, man. It's corrupt. It's evil. All right, it's impure. That's why they can't deal with the scriptures. That's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, to the pure are pure things. I'm talking about the scriptures. Okay. But to the unpure and the unbelieving, to disobedient and unbelieving, nothing's pure. Okay. So only the elect can, can the 144,000, which consists of, uh, let me get that in Ephesians. Which consists of Ephesians uh, 4 and 11 it says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists, all right, meaning one that goes and spreads the gospel, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, which are the believers, which are Israelites, Psalms 148, uh, 13, 14. It says, For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. That's right. So that 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe is going to consist of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Okay? Because Paul said, he said, are we all, let me get that real quick. Right. Let me get that. a lot I'm trying to remember what it was all right because Paul basically asked you know are we all prophets or oh, it's probably going into the body all right here it is uh, this is a second of first Corinthians 12 and 28 and God has set some in the church first apostles secondarily prophets thirdly teachers and after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversity of tongues. This is are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gift of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret. Okay, that's right. We all don't, you know, some brothers have ability to do some or more than one of these uh facets as part of the elect but not all of us Lord willing I'm part of that but not all will be able to do that that's going into the hundred fold the sixty fold and the thirty fold okay all right because not all hundred and forty four thousand are prophets okay or will be speakers all right some will be set up just to be pastors teachers prophets, apostles, okay, um, helps, you know, but the thing is they all believe and their hearts was good and their hearts was honest, that's why they was able to receive it, alright, so back to Luke 8 and 15, it says, but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart have heard the word, kept it, Oh, and keep it so they keep what they heard all right and bring forth fruit with patience 
Alright, understanding that this ain't the race ain't given to the swift, man. And this is a race of endurance. So you have to grow on levels, like it says, with 30, uh, 60, and 100 fold. That takes patience. That takes time. It takes diligence, studying, uh, uh, suffering, okay, enduring, endurance, okay, which only they, of uh, that, of uh, the, uh, the, the good ground, representing the good ground, which is the 144,000, all right, the elect government body of, of Israel, those men, all right, they're going to have that, that uh, quality of patience, Mark 4 and 20. It says, um, and these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirty fold, some sixty, and some in hundred. Okay, but the key is that they brought forth fruit, meet for repentance, and that they increased in that which was given to them. That also goes into the parable of the talents, the parable of the pound. Okay. Or excuse me, yeah, the talents, the ten servants, all right, and the parable of the pound, all right. Matthew's thirteen and twenty-three. It says, "But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it." So part of being able to keep it and to bring forth fruit with patience, you got to understand what's being spoken. All right, that's why the scriptures say in Proverbs, uh, wisdom is the principal thing, which is the scriptures. But with all that getting, get understanding. And that understanding comes with what? Patience and keeping that which was uh, given to you. Then you shall increase, like the scriptures say. And that's the difference between someone that's doing it right and somebody that's just bullshit, man. Like the elders always give the example with building, of uh, being a carpenter, and and building up, building yourself up, or building up something you can't do, just go fast and build up something crappy. Okay, you gotta take your time, man. You gotta be thorough. All right, and that takes patience. That you have to. It says in your patience possess you your souls. So this ain't a, a race given to the swift, man. All right. This is something that takes time, and and you want to get it right, man. So, and and the Lord said, "Be perfect, as your Father in heaven is perfect." So, if you want to get, uh, reach the status of a master, or the mastery, because the Lord said the disciple shall be uh, as his Lord, all right, and as his as his master, the student as as the master. You want to get to that status. That takes patience. And it starts with what? Keeping what was taught to you and understanding it, getting the understanding with patience, then you increase. Okay? Not no speedy Gonzalez madness, man. Alright, Matthew 13, 23. But he that receives seed into the ground, the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also bring which also bear fruit. And bring it forth, and some a hundredfold, and some sixty, and some thirty. That's right. That's right. Okay. Second Ezra eight forty one. It says, "For as the husbandman soweth much seed upon the ground." And plant of many trees, yet the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up. <coughs> it's a lot talking about the two thirds. Neither, neither, excuse me. Neither do of all that is planted take root. That's right. Okay. This is which which that goes back to what the whole parable is about. All right. Just because is all Israel hear this word, not all. Of Israel is going to respond to it as those that's of the good ground, which represent the elect. They hear the word, they keep it, all right, and with patience bring forth fruit because they under they get in the understanding of it and therefore they increase. Okay, 
all right even so is it of them that are sown in the world they shall not all be saved that's right that's right and that parable proves that and the Lord was teaching his disciples that which is a major parable that you know brothers coming in should get the understanding all right of it truly get the understanding of it so that whenever you go out and teach you will you won't waste the time okay with a two-third a phony ass nigga that's claiming he's an Israelite or one of these false prophets you'll be able to recognize the false prophet which is the the ones choked by the thorns all right you will recognize and not to really mess with them them phony ass niggas that's just they on this level they don't want to go no they don't want to do no more no more no less they just stuck here happy all right in their own little world you separate yourself from them niggas and you know not even to even deal with the scriptures with someone that's of the lowest tear of of the of the two thirds which they gon they gonna reject it anyway. Alright? Why? Cause it said even so as it is of them that are that are sown in the world, the world of Israel, they shall not all be saved. Okay? It says, I answered then and said, If I have found grace, let me speak. Like as the husbandman's seed perisheth, if it cometh not up, and receiveth not thy rain in due season, or if there come too much rain and corrupt it. Going into, like I said, about them guys trying to reach to the top. And like I said, we had two guys, really three. Because you had Tazima, he wanted to be the head, but. He wasn't set up for that, so he fell off. You had uh, Ayashimov, he fell off, and that's what his main problem was. He was trying to take in too much rain. The rain represents the doctrine. He was taking in too much rain, and it corrupted it. It corrupted him, man. It destroyed him. Talking about he, and one night, he bragging about he read all the letters of Paul in one night. And I even told him, and, and that was close to the time, I think it was either a week later, he a week or two later, he ended up getting kicked out. But he told me that he said he read all the letters of Paul in one night. And that's that's way too much, man. I said, that's way too much. You you ain't going to understand that. That's too much to take in. And I like to read, but that was just, to me, that was just too much. And now you saw what happened. Same with uh, Amara. Okay, he was the same way, too. It says, or if there come too much rain and it corrupted, even so perish man also, which is formed with thy hand, and is thy is called thine own image, because thou art like unto him, for whose sake thou hast made all things, and liken him unto the husband's seed. Husbandman's seed. That's right. Okay. Sirach ten and nineteen. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 19. That's right. It says, They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed, and they that transgress the cov uh, the commandments are a deceitful seed. Okay. That's right. And that goes in on those guys, the two the two types. You have the elect and you have the uh, the terrorists. Okay. Get that wisdom of Solomon. That's right, so, you know, let me get this, Matthews 10 and 40, and I'm going to wrap it up, because I already covered uh, in that lesson about the Lord reveals his truth, going into uh, 
uh, Revelations chapter 7 and Revelations 14 in that lesson. So I ain't gonna touch that because it's already been broken down. But I'm gonna touch this part about Matthew 10 and 40, and then I'm gonna wrap it up because that just that's that's all we need on that part of that lesson. So on that part of the parable. Matthew 10 and 40 says, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receive him that sent me. That's right. So, if you're part of that elect number, all right, those whom you're teaching, they're going to receive you. All right? And by them receiving you, they receive receiving Yahweh Shah. And if they receive Yahweh Shah, they receive the Most High. Okay? That's why Paul said this in 1 Timothy's chapter 4 verse 16 all right it says take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both say thyself and them that hear thee okay all right that's right Matthew 10 and 41 it says he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward which is the kingdom salvation and he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. That's right. So to the people that that's going to make up the one third that take heed to this word, all right, that's being pushed out. All right, which is the truth, starting with the elders of Great Millstone and their fruit. All right, those that's teaching in, the, in righteousness, and that's part of represent that good ground. All right, and the evidence is that we we got to be part of that Lord willing, because we're increasing, and these other camps they're not increasing, man. They they're decreasing. All right, so amongst Israel, people see the they see the difference, man, and they know the difference. So. Lord willing, all right, uh, those that listen, all right, and take heed, may the Lord, you know, deliver you, and, and Lord willing, I'll be part of that, that number, okay, but that's the parable of the sower, broken down from top to bottom, okay, all right, so now you understand that, and Lord willing, uh, in the next lesson, we'll go in about the time of Jacob's trouble, are you gonna have those that represent the seed cast upon the uh, stony, uh, cast upon the stony ground and the thorns, and even those that was on the wayside? How are they gonna be used? They gonna be the ones that's gonna betray and and deliver brothers over to suffer persecution and uh, afflictions, and in the time of Jacob trouble, i.e., being given over to the concentration camps. All right. And some even perishing or being martyrs for Yahweh Shai. And that'll be in the next lesson. But I had to cover this part so that you can get the understanding of of who the Lord was talking about. That's gonna be of our people that's gonna uh Lord willing uh oh slot, not Lord willing, but that's gonna be of, of the two thirds of our people that's gonna give some over to be crucified, well, not crucified, but given over to be persecuted and even martyrs uh, for the name of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Because in Revelations, it's, it's counted that this place is going to have the blood of the martyrs on it. The martyrs of those that, of Yahweh Shah is going to be counted on this place. And that's going to be one reason why this place is going to be destroyed. All right, so with that, uh, to the next time when we go into the that part about Jacob's trouble, about uh, persecution of the of the, the believers, all right, the martial laws implemented. That'll be in the next lesson, okay? All right, so with that, hopefully you was edified. I say shalom.